Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Sagittarius? Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Whenever you come across this reading, I hope everyone is staying safe. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your beautiful energy, your likes, and your shares. To new viewers, come on in. Take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else, okay? We're going to get started. Sagittarius, it looks like your season is about to approach very, very soon, okay? I hope everyone get everything that they want. So we're going to get started, and let's see what's in your energy. Let's see what's going to come out of it. Spirit Guys Divine Universe, this is for Sagittarius. What's in the energy for my Sagittarians? Rejection. Ending. You got death and you got rejection, Sagittarius. One more spirit cards, Sagittarius. Fear came out in the reverse. So, Sagittarius, let me fix my camera. It looked like you ended something, okay? Something you wasn't comfortable with. You got the comfort in the reverse. Something you was not comfortable with. A relationship, a career, something that you feel like there was no, there was no abundance, there was no, it wasn't flourishing, okay? So you rejected this. I feel like some of you may have rejected this offer. You have the fear card, okay? I feel as though what this is telling me is that you don't give a crap. You ain't scared. You ain't never scared. The fear card in the reverse. Someone may have rejected you or you rejected them, Sagittarius. Reverse the roles. I don't know your life. But you ain't scared. I feel like this rejection calls you to go into healing yourself. It calls you to go into getting a little deeper within who you are, that self-love, that self-care, that um, doing some more healing or doing some healing towards yourself. Uh, whatever you whatever you was rejected in the past about, whether it was your career, people, places, things, whatever it was, it puts you in this energy. The death card isn't literally death in this situation. The death card is, is, is the ending of old things, ending of old habits, traumas, healing from traumas, and, you know, rebirth is what this card is. And um, you're not the same person. I feel like in the past with the rejection card here, Sagittarius, if I was to turn this fear card up right, I feel like at one point in time you were fear, you were in fear of rejection, of uh, what people thought about you or why, you know, you were scared if somebody liked you or you were afraid you was trying to, to, to make everybody happy and you wanted to, you wanted to be liked by so many people. That was the old you. And, 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 and we're going to go all the way back to childhood up to all the way up to now where you were rejected with friends. They didn't want to, uh, but I, you wanted to be their friends and they didn't want to be your friend. And, and, and uh, let's get a little deeper. Let's get on up where you ha was going into relationships and, and, and they were rejecting you. You was trying to pour all your heart out and they were giving you nothing back. You were afraid of the fear of rejection. That's why it put you in a place before you got healed to be a people pleaser. Because you didn't want to be rejected by someone. This is before. But the car came out in reverse. That's when, when, when the reading started, I said, you, you ain't scared. You, what? You ain't scared of nothing now. 
But before you were always trying to make sure that somebody liked you or, or this man, you try to go over and beyond for this guy or this, this marriage to work and to, to want you and to, to be there and, and to give reciprocal like you give. And so you was afraid of if you didn't do the things to to people, please someone that's good. Now we're talking about the person, the old version of you, uh, the people pleasing. You were afraid that uh, they're not going to want me. Oh, she's not going to be my friend. He's not going to be my friend. Or this or that, this or that. So I'm going to just pour all of me, all of me into that person or the people or the family around you. As you went through your life and you didn't know at the time that you were damaging yourself. You were, you had done depleted who you were because you were, after all, beginning to lose your own identity. I don't know who I'm talking to. But I feel as though that with, with this new, this new you, this rebirth of you, you ain't scared of nothing. You said, I don't give a fat bacon potato salad who rejects me who don't want me because I ain't for everybody because of who I am I am a queen or a king I am an empress or an emperor I am highly intuitive and I ain't gonna settle anyway anymore because that was the problem back with the old me I settled too much I settled and I worried about if somebody's gonna like me or not so that's where the fear came out in reverse and the rebirth is here. When you ain't scared of nobody, you don't give a crap. Let them reject you because you, you're going to reject a lot of people. Because if you ain't on my same energy, if you ain't on my same vibration, then I don't want you anyway. See, I'm a whole no total different person. Even down to my family where they just used and abused me and just took from me and took from me. And <laughs> no more. I learned how to say no, I don't care. I, I ain't scared. I ain't never scared. <laughs> Y'all don't get me started this morning. I'm trying to uh, uh, I'm trying to be good. My goodness. Stop. Okay, spirit guys, this was Sagittarius. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Thank you. Knight of Wands. Yeah, you were dealing also with people this in and out, in and out energy. Woof. Fast as it come in, woof, back out. Some of you, you ended it, you got tired of it. You got tired of the rejection. This rejection is like, you got tired of this person not wanting to be in. They don't want to be in your life and you was trying to force them or trying to do everything you could do, the old you was, to want this person to want you. You were dealing with a knight of wands. You were dealing with a player. You were dealing with someone that was breadcrumbing you in and out, cold, hot, playing mind games. That's what you was dealing with until one day you rejected this person. Mm, it's a funny how the table going to come back around. Watch. I need you to listen because there's a message in this lesson. There's a lesson in this message. However you want to put it. Tomato, tomato. Okay. Tell me more spirit about Sagittarius. Okay. The cherry. Yeah. You're moving on. You, get some, you got on your high horse and you said, I'm done. I'm done. I feel like a lot of you must have rejected this person. That, it, was, it was like, I feel like it, you, you just, you, it, it was over. That last draw, that last draw that broke the Campbell back. Yeah, that was that part right there. The last draw is what made you go into hermit mode and go into and, and, and uh, heal all your past hood trauma and realize why you was being rejected so much and why people just was in and out hot and cold energy. I don't care if it's your family, your friends, your lovers, your marriage, or whatever it relates to your life. That was the night of ones. They was in and out. They only came around when they wanted something to you. Woke up one day. And you started doing work on your on yourself. And you said, I ain't scared. I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. Reject me because I'm going to reject you because I'm a, on a whole total different level. Spirit guys, tell me more for Sagittarius. Thank you. The Ten of Wands. Yes. It stressed you out and it fell right on the Knight of Wands. 
Yeah, this, this was a stressful situation. Stressful situation. Yeah, this person, it stressed you out. You, you didn't know how they was coming. You see how they coming. And, and the thing about it, the thing about it, they only wanted to come around when it almost got dark. When it almost got dark when, or when it was nighttime. When the sun was going down. Okay, this person stressed you completely out. Because at the time, at the time, you did not know your worth. Tell me more. Now you're in the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> now you look at your arms. Now you're living your best life, baby. You, you done done that. You done had a rebirth, honey. You done had a rebirth. The Ace of Pentacles, the divine, the universe, whoever your higher source, God is saying this is your reaping season. <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking to, but baby, this is your reaping season that you got the Ace of Pentacles that the divine is about to gift you. Gift you something beautiful. This is your reaping season, baby. Spirit guys, tell me more for Sagittarius. Mm-hmm. Ten of Pentacles. Look at here. I fell right on the chariot card. Honey, let me tell you something. You're about to move right into your abundance. I told you the divine universe is about. This is your reaping season. I don't know who I'm talking to, but baby. Yeah. You done it. You said, I ain't scared. I ain't never scared. Okay. You done that work, baby. You done that healing. You got tired of this, these people, places, and these situations and, and connections in and out your life and, and not knowing your worth is. Honey, you got the Ten of Pentacles here, baby. You said, I, 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 I'm starting a new beginning. You being a fool and you going on with your life. This fool is you taking a new leap of faith. New beginning. And honey, let me tell you something. This rebirth, you a whole total different person. Look, look how your arms up in the air. People ain't going to believe who they see. Look at the arms in the air. Rebirth, baby. Rebirth, death. Rebirth. You have done that. You say, I don't give a frying bean pancake. I learned from this rejection because this rejection was for my protection. I learned that all the people that rejected me, all the people, places, things that did not know who I was, my worth, and I poured all my energy out, I, I was rejected. Thank you. Thank you, because I'm moving forward. Thank you, because I have done my healing. Thank you, because I ain't scared. I ain't never scared no more. I gave you too much of me. I gave you too much of me. A lot of people left me out in the cold with the five of pentacles. Left me out in the cold, had nowhere to go. Didn't care how they treated me. Yeah. I look back on that. How I was rejected from a lot of people, a lot of family, a lot of so-called, so-called, let me say it again for the ones in the back that's frying some bacon back there in the kitchen. Uh, so-called friends. That part right there. And it left you stuck, stagnant, hanging. But now, baby, but now. Yeah, you had to go in hermit mode. I said it earlier. You had to go in hermit mode and you had to, whoo, you had to do some deep soul searching. You had, you was a plenty nights of crying, screaming, tissue all over the floor, bedroom looking like a hurricane went through it. You was in depression. You was in a dark space. You had to, you, a lot of people had to fall off. You started losing friends and because you didn't want to be around nobody because that's what, that's what healing does. You begin to start identifying and start to see a little bit at a time as your eyes was opening up how the pe the very people you had done you. Oh, you went through a hard, you went through it, baby. But let me tell you something. Look at the dress. Look at the dress where you look at the power in that dress. Yeah, the power in that dress right there. You in the Ten of Pentacles. You gen you generating some money. You're successful. Okay, longevity. You got some good things coming in for you. Some of you got some money owed to you, an inheritance owed to you, some windfalls, some payouts, 
something that's owed to you, that's coming for you, that the divine got for you. This is your reaping season. You had to walk away. You had to walk away to eight of cups of things and people that no longer served you. You had to walk away because you were under distress. Like I told the other sign, you were, they, none of your cups was being filled. They just depleted you. Took everything out of your energy. Out of your body. Took all of your energy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Spirit guys, any more message for us Sagittarius? Yeah, Sagittarius, you done the thing, baby. Look at you. It took some time, but honey... Look here, it took you some time, but honey, you happy. You're in a happy place. You see, you see these eight of cups where you, you, you none of your cups was being fulfilled and you walked away? Now look at your cups. All your cups is about to be fulfilled. And it took a long time because you got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. If it was in the upright, you still it's still taking time, but you out of it. 1555 just came up on the clock. 555, five, five, baby. All your cups is about to be fulfilled. Every last one of them because you had an awakening. Boom! Spirit God said, take these cards. You had an awakening, honey. Ten of Pentacles, double confirmation. You woke up. You did your healing, your rebirth, baby. You said, I ain't scared. I ain't never scared of nobody rejecting me or people that don't want to be in my life. Goodbye. See you later. I'm out. Peace. I'm Positive Thoughts of Energy. Until next time, Sagittarius.